what's up everybody? Ryan here from Tweak My Device. I have a Samsung Galaxy S. I want to root this puppy. It is running a newer version of Android, so it makes it a little harder to root. This is on the EDO5 version. But it's not impossible. <clears throat> so go ahead and connect your device for USB storage. Check the description under this video for a link to get to this thread on XDA. Let's give an appropriate thanks to CCampo784 for initially answering uh, the question here with a solution. And a little farther down, you'll find that these files are hosted here by NeoZen21. So thanks to both of these guys for chiming in and uh, providing a solution for us. Um, I'll provide direct links to both of these files. So just grab both of those. And once you have them, open up the window of your Galaxy S. And here are the two files we downloaded. So the super user file, you want to take that and let's copy it onto the Galaxy S. Okay, then we can disconnect the Galaxy S from the computer. Let's go ahead and turn off storage and disconnect that. So to get connected, we're gonna power off the phone. Once it's powered off, remove the battery and we're gonna hold the volume down button while we plug it into the PC. Great, now we can put that down. Great, now that our drivers are installed and good to go, we're gonna open up Odin. And you see we have a yellow COM box. So we wanna select our PDA file. And here it is, here's the uh, recovery tar file. Open that. And once everything's set, we are good to start. Awesome, we have a pass message. And you see we have no errors down here. So we can disconnect. We'll replace the battery. Now we're going to boot it up by holding volume down, up, and a little tricky and power at the same time. Great. Now we have the Voodoo Lag Fix Recovery installed. And what we want to do here is install zip from SD card. We're going to choose zip and we're going to go down here and choose the super user that we put on our device. We'll select that. This is going to root us. Should be pretty quick. Good. Install complete. Once that's complete, touch the menu soft key to go back and you can reboot system now.